I feel like that's the greatest thing about God, you know, is that I've done so much wrong that, like, I don't deserve anything. Really, I don't deserve anything, yet God gives me everything that I need. And that's just how great God is, man. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to the God is Love podcast. This is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. Um, for a couple years, I've had this idea of starting a podcast that's entirely um, God-based. I feel like I'm moving a lot, you know? I, I feel like I've always been comfortable in front of the camera, but you always get a little uncomfortable when you're trying something new, right? Okay, whatever. Anyway, this is something I've been wanting to do for some years now. And I just feel like um, it just never really happened, you know? And I feel like now is the perfect time and God's kind of blessing it and allowing it. So I wanted this first episode to be basically me just sharing my story and my walk with God with you guys, all right? So... I grew up in a Catholic household, you know, was always taught to believe in God since an early age, you know, my parents instilled that in me. I went to catechism, did my first communion, all that good stuff, right? That happened. And then I guess you can say as I just grew up and, you know, my, in my late teens, I kind of just went astray. I went astray and I, um, let me throw this gum out. Excuse me for that. That's very rude, you know, to be talking with um, gum in your mouth. Anyway, in like my late teens, I kind of just like started wilding out, you know, partying, hanging out with the bros all the time and just turning up, smoking a bunch of weed to be completely transparent, right? I was just doing my thing, you know, I was making music, rapping, all sorts of videos. A lot of people knew me for my Instagram videos, the comedy videos and things of that nature, right? So, um... It's okay. We're at the beach right now, guys, so don't even mind the people behind me. But I was kind of just wilding out, doing my thing, right? In 2021, I found myself in a bit of a sticky situation, you know, and um, I, was just in, I was just in a bad place, you know, and I like to say God kind of just led me back to Him. At the time, I didn't know, you know, I was just going through a bunch of things, and I didn't know why, but now I know why, you know. God brought me back on course for, for the better, you know? Because like I said, I always believed in God, but I didn't get a full good understanding until 2021. And I was attending the church Victory Outreach in San Jose, and it was there at that church when um, I really had my first encounter with God, you know, and God kind of just like touched my heart, man, and something clicked, and I was just like, wow, I was amazed. That's where my journey kind of started. Real quick, I just want to give a big shout out to all my people from Victory Outreach San Jose, all the bros. Freaking Joey C, Joey S, Joaquin, Keith, Matt, David, Brother Ray, you know what I'm saying? All the bros out there, my boy Rich. I honestly learned so much from those guys over there at Victory Outreach. And um, great guys, man, great guys. As I got saved, you know, there was a point where, like, I completely stopped smoking and drinking for about five months. And I honestly felt great, you know. And I was, I was going strong, you know, but... You know, to be completely transparent, I backslid, man. I fell into old habits. I started smoking weed heavily again, and... I struggled with falling into, like, my old habits and, like, just willfully sinning, I guess you can say, to, like, be a honey, you know what I'm saying? I knew that it was something I wasn't supposed to be doing, but I just kept doing it, man, and it was a big struggle of mine. For the longest, it kind of just consumed me, man. It consumed me and the lust, all that stuff, man, it just was creeping back in and it didn't feel good though, you know? Every time I would do something like that, it didn't feel good. I would feel convicted. I would feel like, just like, man, I know I'm not supposed to be doing this, you know? So it took a while, but I finally started to overcome that. And the way I was able to do that was, you know, by kind of just giving it to God, you know, I was giving him all my problems and I was praying and I was asking him for guidance and just like, I started to seek it myself though, you know, I started to study more, I started to read the word more, I started to look into videos and listen to people because I was just like trying to get to the root of why I keep doing the things I don't want to do. And there's actually scripture on that. It's um, in the book of Romans and I should find that real quick, honestly. All right, it is in the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 18, and it says, And I know that nothing good lives in me, that is, in my sinful nature. I want to do what is right, but I can't. I want to do what is good, but I don't. And I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it anyway. 
But if I do what I don't want to do, I am not really the one doing wrong. It is the sin living in me that does it. And honestly, that's exactly how I felt. It's just like the sinful nature and the fleshly desires would just get the best of me, man. And But then again, you know, I feel like I had to go through those things and I had to feel those emotions to kind of like, to kind of just build me up to who God wanted me to be next, you know? And I feel like it's a never ending thing, you know, like God's always going to continue to build us up. God is always going to continue to show us new things and open our eyes to different things and just... You know, it's a it's a it's a real journey. It's a real journey and I'm thankful and grateful for it all and to just bounce off what we were just talking about, me being saved and falling into sin again and you know backsliding and all that you know through all that i just knew that that's not what i wanted to do anymore you know sin wasn't fun anymore it wasn't the same going out drinking partying smoking like it just didn't feel the same for me anymore although i kept running back to it it's just i knew it was something that i needed to stop and that god was gonna um get rid of for me you know and god just he knew where i was at and i'm grateful to say that those things do not control my life anymore and glory be to God for that because yeah I was bad so whoever's watching this I don't want you guys to think I'm perfect because I'm far from that but I'm just a kid who wants to spread the word of God and you know do my part one thing a pastor just said to me not to me but it felt like he was talking to me this last um Sunday I went to church and he was like you're either obedient or you're not you know and I was just like dang because I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the times I'm not obedient to God and what He um, wants from me, you know? And that's just something I've I've really struggled with, you know, going back to my old habits and um, trying to be obedient, you know? It's like the fleshly desires, that's what it is, you know? My spirit tells me one thing and my flesh tells me another, you know? And a lot of the times I would just feed into my flesh and then they say the more you do that, that conviction gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it's numb and then you're just full out living in sin and it happened to me before honestly even after i was saved so proud to say drug free no more smoking no more alcohol none of that i'm trying to just stay focused and locked in even though i got saved and i was following god it just felt like the trials and tribulations got even worse almost not worse but like i felt like because i knew the way god wanted me to live i was struggling with things that I didn't think twice about before, you know what I'm saying? So it was honestly, a, it was a battle. And I don't want to say like the devil tempted me or anything because that's another thing I learned that we're tempted by our own desires. So it was me, it was me and I take accountability and you know, God knows where I'm at and he knows where my heart is. I've repented and he knows that I mean good. You know, he knows I mean good. So I feel like that's the greatest thing about God, you know, is that I've done so much wrong that like I don't deserve anything really I don't deserve anything yet God gives me everything that I need and that's just how great God is man so my message to you guys today is like if you want to get closer to God and you don't know how you don't know where to start I think the most important thing is prayer you know talk to God yourself talk to Jesus man you don't have to tell anyone that you did it it can literally be between you and God you know and there's no wrong way of praying and there's no wrong way of talking to God just talk to God as if you were talking to a friend and watch what he can do man for real that's another thing is like I don't like to think of it as a religion I like to think of it more as like a relationship you know he's your father he cares for you he wants what's best for you you know God is good man God is so good um I feel like I've done so much wrong in my life and I've done like I was just a messed up, horrible, filthy sinner, you know, and I didn't deserve anything and I don't deserve anything, yet God gives me everything that I need. The things that make me truly happy are the day-to-day -day things in life, you know? Being able to talk to my parents, being able to go out to eat with my friends, being able to take my dogs on a walk, being able to wake up and see my nephew knocking at my door, you know, those things are what truly make me happy. Those are the things that I find fulfillment in. And of course, Jesus Christ, because without him, I wouldn't have any of that. And I'm just thankful and I'm grateful. In closing, I kind of just wanted to like say that I want you guys to be on this journey with me and I want to be on this journey with you guys, you know? If you guys want to ask any questions or, you know, leave any comments about anything, feel free, man. And I'll definitely get back to you guys because 
that's just what I want to do, man. I want to help people feel the love of God because, you know, God's love is like the ultimate love. It's the best feeling ever. And once you start to accept God into your life and once God starts to teach you things, it's like it's the renewal of the mind, you know, you just start to just see things differently, you know, for what they are. So you start to appreciate things more. Just another quick summary, just in case I was all over the place. I got saved in 2021, gave my life to God. I was like, you know what, God, I can't do any of this on my own. Whatever it is I'm going through, I just can't do it on my own and I need you, right? So I cried out to God and God came into my life. You know, he heard my cries and he lifted me out of everything that I was going through. And I try to remind myself every day of what God saved me from and like I said, I'm not perfect. It's a daily battle. You got to pick a cross up every day. You got to keep it going, man. You got to stay strong. So what we'll do is we'll close this video out in a prayer, you know, so um, we'll let the folks behind me pass by. All right. Um, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I come before you right now, God, and I just want to say thank you for my life and all that you have done for me and all that you continue to do for me. I pray, God, that you bless whoever is watching this video and that you help them, God, to just build such a good relationship with you and draw close to you and just feel your love the way I've felt your love. May you just continue to be good to us and kind to us like the great God you are. We trust you. We have faith in you. And we believe in you, God, with all of our hearts. And we love you so much. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And yeah, I think that's it, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. God is love. Peace.